Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Irwin and I teach second grade at Penn Lincoln Elementary School. Today we are going to learn about equal shares and naming those parts as well. Let's look at this problem to begin today and review what we know about shapes already. A teacher is preparing to cut a piece of construction paper into three equal shares to use in an art project. The teacher drew dotted lines to guide the cuts. Two children are talking about the paper. Jalen says the paper is three thirds. And Layla says, no, it's not. It's one whole. Who's correct? What do you think? Let's take a look and decide. So the paper the teacher used does have three parts. When we put those three parts together, we call that a whole. So Layla is correct, it is a whole. But if we take those parts and cut them, we also have thirds. Let's take a look. When we put those three thirds together, it fills up the page and completes the paper to make a whole. Let's pretend we're doing the art project with this paper. Here, the teacher wants to fold the paper along the dotted lines first to prepare for cutting. When we put all of the smaller squares together, we make a hole. but one of those squares by itself would be one-fourth. We have four parts, one, two, three, four. And when we put all of those together, that makes a whole. So we're gonna use what we've learned this week and with reviewing today to solve some word problems. Take a look at this delicious pizza. Do you like pizza? I definitely do. How can you share this pizza with four friends? Well, there's one pizza, so what are we going to do? Remember, we've learned this week that we can divide shapes into equal parts, into half, thirds, fourths, or more. But when we divide it, it has to be equal for everybody. So if we divide this pizza into four parts, we need to make sure that they're equal. I could divide my pizza like this. But not everybody is going to get the same amount of pizza. Let's take a look at another way to do this. How do you think we should divide the pizza? You're right. We can divide it down the center to make half. And we can make it and two fourths if we draw a line across the middle. Now each piece is equal. So we can eat our pizza and everybody would have the same share. Each pizza would be one fourth or one out of four parts. When we put all of these together, it makes a whole. So now we have three pizzas and we want to share them between two friends. How are we going to share these pizzas between two friends? Well, one of the easiest things to do first is look at how many whole pizzas we can share. So we will, we have three pizzas. Anna can get a pizza and Sammy, they each get one whole pizza, but there's a pizza left over that needs to be shared equally. How many parts do I need? There are two people in this problem, so each person needs a part. I need two parts. Should I divide it there? If I do, Sammy's not going to be very happy about how much pizza she gets. So instead, we're going to divide the pizza in half. We can do it vertically 
or horizontally. Either way we choose, each person gets half of the extra pizza. Now, Anna and Sammy want to share five pizzas and they have two more friends coming over. What did we do in our first problem? You're right, we shared the whole pizzas first. So let's try by giving each friend one whole pizza. Now I need to think, how many parts do I need? Well, there are four people in our problem, so we need four parts. Just like earlier, when we divide a circle, we need to make sure that we divide it equally. So we're going to draw a line down the center and a line through the middle. That would make four parts, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. When we put them together, we make one whole. So now each friend would get one whole and one-fourth of a pizza. The pizza is able to be shared equally. We are going to continue working with this worksheet. It is in your activity board packet that you picked up this week or on our home learning website. Pause the video and take a minute to get this worksheet or a scrap of paper if you're doing it along on that. Grab a pencil and we'll be right back. So now we're going to use this worksheet and do the first two problems together. Let's try it out. So let's take a look at the worksheet that we have today. Our first problem is asking us to divide the shapes into three equal shares. So pretend that we're using our pizzas again and we're sharing it with our friends. I have three friends and four pizzas. Remember the first thing that's easiest to do when we have a problem like this is to pass out a hole. So let's do that first. We're going to say that each person we'll get one whole circle. Now we're left with one circle that needs to be divided into three equal shares. I could divide this circle into thirds, but are they equal? No, they're not. We learned earlier this week how to divide a circle into thirds. So let's do that now. Now that we've been able to divide the circle into thirds, we can divide the shares. Friend one will also get one third. Friend two and friend three. So now when we divide these shapes into three equal shares, one equal share is one whole and one-third. Each person would get one whole and one-third. Let's take a look at our second problem. Now we need to divide the shape into two equal shares. So for this problem, let's pretend they're brownies and you and your friend want to share, but there are three brownies. What are we going to do first? You're right. Let's give out the whole brownies first. So we have two equal shares, one, two. That's equal, each person would get one whole. But now we have an extra brownie left over. Two equal shares or two parts is also called two halves. So let's divide the square into halves. You can do it in a diagonal. You could also go vertically or horizontally. And now I need to name each part. So the equal shares for this problem would be one whole and one half. So one and a half for each person. So I want you to finish completing the worksheet for today's lesson. After you find the equal shares, don't forget to name one part. 
Then I want you to go on and practice using fractions on Connect Ed playing a game called Equivalent Fractions found under the Grade 2 Challenge. Some other ways that you can practice fractions throughout the week is by using Play-Doh to make shapes and then dividing them into equal shares. Quiz your family members and see if they can name each part. Have a great week. All of your teachers miss you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye!